Are you a girl? Frag out! <laughs> hey, you subscribe! Lick my ass crack! <clears throat> Hello and welcome to Cities in Motion 2. Yes. So, yeah, it's that game. Settings, let's make sure everything is on maximum because everyone, let's start a tutorial so I can show you what you do in this game. So we go to Sandbox Tutorial City, all right? Disable city growth? Why would you want to do that? Unlimited money? I, mm, I can understand. But we're not gonna do that today. We're gonna start this game. And then this guy with the camera, he's like, God, I can't wait till I get on this bus. And then this guy's like, uh, I don't want to go to work. And this guy's like, my bills. And then this girl's like, I have a dark passenger. And this guy's like, oh man, I have to go back to school. And this girl's like, Oh, I have to teach. This guy's like, I have to take more pictures. This guy's like, oh, I don't want to get back to work. All right. So, Cities in Motion 2. That doesn't seem too hard. View the map and move around. I'm sure we could get it done in no time. First, you should familiarize yourself with the city. Have a look around to get the hang of things. Use WAS and D to move around. You can rotate the mouse wheel to zoom in and out, or you could use Q and E, or you can use Q and E keys. Holding down Z or center mouse button lets you rotate and tilt the camera freely. You can also rotate and tilt the camera with the arrow keys. So WASD, you know, everyone uses that for most games now. It's very standard, which is nice. I enjoy the WASD. Man, look at that reflection. That's really cool. And then you have these roads here. So you think, oh man, it's SimCity where you build another city. No, this is Cities in Motion where you pretty much do transportation. So, there's a lot more to the city than what you can see on the street level. The map data you can always find in this tab using the drawer icon in the lower right menu, select buildings, and then blue collar to display the typical blue collar location on the map. By applying such filters to the map, you can see homes, places of work and leisure, and other locations important to each social group. All marked with different colors, the brighter the color, the more important of the place. For example, bright green shows the buildings where most blue collar worker workers live. Bright red shows where they often work. So you click this, and then buildings, and then blue collar. So this is where they work. And then this is where they live. In apartment buildings in the city. That must be expensive. Uh. So next. Well done! Now the next step, you have the tools about to grab your disposal by thriving transport system. You will need many different vehicle types. Go to the build panel to see what's available. So you go here. And you can see, like, bus structures, tolly structures, tram structures, metro structures, and water bus structures. Water bus uh, seems pretty cool. Choose a bus structure from the middle. Okay, so... Yeah, so pretty much... Like the tutorial, I'm pretty much doing the tutorial for you guys. But, um, see these one way streets? Yes, there's one way streets. So, you know, you kind of don't want to build a, uh, the, the bus stop there. So, I would say, I don't know. Right here. Sure. <laughs> Let's just put one right there, just for, you know, the sake of it. So, start building the depot and place stops. Okay, so you need the stops. We uh, try the six stop of the depot now. So you want to create six bus stops around the city. As you can see, like the roads are pretty empty except for this part, but you know whatever. So, to build stops, you click on the bus structures. You can pretty much do you know the basic stop sign or with shelter. And bench, you know, just stuff like that. Well, I guess we can't do the... Yeah, we can. 
All right. <laughs> so since it's here, you want to make one. Let's. And that white ring, I'm guessing it's like. Oh, I don't want to walk too far. I'm lazy. So it's pretty much people in the city that are like, ah, I hate walking. So that's pretty much the radius of the, the, the bus stops. And as you can see, the arrows, it's going this way. And then you go to the other side of the street, it comes this way. So uh, you need pretty much like one here and then one on the other side over there. And then, you know, just to make it work, I guess. So let's put one like right here, right next to the bus stop. Why not? Uh, and then you kind of don't want the circles to be touching each other. Because that's kind of weird. Let's not put a bus stop at the intersection because that's bad. I mean, I've seen some cities where they do that. And then I'm right behind a bus and they stop right there and I can't do anything because I'm at the intersection. <sighs> I went into wrestling mode there. I don't even watch wrestling. But yeah, let's create six of them. Let's, uh, let's go here. Let's do like a huge circle around the around the island. Why not? That sounds good, right? I don't know why anyone would walk whatever. You know, we're just we're just doing the tutorial. Well, like the interface is it's pretty I don't know, it's pretty easy. You just got to read. I mean, if you don't like reading then <laughs> good luck. But um I don't know, it's pretty much self-explanatory. So like after you do that, open the transportation bus line. So you do this, create new line, and then add stops. So you want to start from the depot to here, and you can see where the bus is going to go. The bus is going to, you know, turn right, go to this stop, and then go to this stop. Or he could go like way over here, and then if I zoom out, you can see where he's going to go. And then you can create the other one. Like if I created one here, you go this way, and then probably come up here. And if I chose this one after this one, you know, it's just going to do like a weird, you don't, you don't want that. You don't want that. So, you know, you just want to follow the circle. It's pretty simple, right? Then you click the bus stop again. So they go around the whole city island place and yeah. So now what you want to do, you want to get buses apparently you want three of them so we add a bus there's a double decker bus i like double deckers but there's also another double decker one without a without a roof so you can like stand up and be cool and be at a party or whatever so we're going to purchase three of those twenty four thousand dollars and soon you will be able to see it go through Owner Spoons Company. I don't like the sound of that. I should never own a company in my life. Looks like your line could do uh, longer breaks between vehicles going to the transportation panel. So there's timetables. So you can pretty much create like what time your uh, bus wants to go. So you know you just mess with that. Let's do every I don't know 45 minutes. Every 45 minutes to each stop. I'm guessing that's what it is. Yeah, 9.30, right? Or maybe, I don't know. Press a little clock icon, blah, blah, blah. To open the just time to add more time between vehicle departures. Oh, okay. So what if you did that? <laughs> no, that'd be, that'd be bad. That's, um, I don't know what to do. I don't even know what these numbers mean. Once the line is going, it's taking longer to look at the vehicles if they're FMD, you could just blah blah blah. The people are packed so Oh! I don't know, I think I just... I don't know, I'll get it. Press the little clock icon to open the window of the timetable, add some more time between the vehicle departures. But I'm spacing it out. I'm guessing this is the time. Yeah, because there's only 23 of them, and then the 0, zero is 24. So it is the time, so you want to make them like that. Essentially, I don't... 
Why don't we do... Whatever, we'll do that. No, that didn't work. <laughs> I'll get these timetable things. Oh, morning... Wait. What? No. Oh, morning rush, you can... You can't even change anything in there. Weekends. Oh boy. I don't know, I'll have to figure the timetable thing out. I don't really get the timetable stuff yet. 